Hi guys and welcome to a walkthrough of an apartment here in La Torre Golf Resort. Okay, this is a two bed, first floor apartment, big apartment. Um, we're just standing in the, the actual stairway now. As you can see, it's a first floor. Um, this is the, the main entrance here into the block. So this is in Abadeco, okay? So this is in the square. So just to the other side of that door, you've got lovely communal gardens and a pool and things like that, which we'll see as we go around inside the actual property itself. This is just coming on onto our website now at 109,995, 110,000 euros, okay? Um, community fees on this one, 140, 140 per month. Uh, again, as always, don't forget Latori, that includes all of your fiber optic broadband, which now is our standard 50 megabit speed, which really should be more than enough for all your needs. Um, it includes an internal phone line and it includes your international TV station. So you get a lot for that. And of course, what you're paying into there is the upkeep of the pools, the gardens, 24 hour security and so on. So you're getting a lot, I think, for your money. So let's head in. I've had a little walk around this. Um, I've done the actual images, the pictures, and I've done the virtual tour as well, which of course you'll be able to see on our website when it goes live. This is a lovely apartment, guys. Now we had one of these um, a while back, about seven, eight months ago. Went really quick. Um, these are big, big footprints, you know, the actual size of these apartments are much, much, quite a bit bigger um, than others. And they've actually done some little tweaks in here, which makes it even better, I think. So when you walk in, you come into this big, square lounge very very bright um, as you can see even though this is fully furnished it looks really spacious just because the actual size of the lounge itself so it really is nice and big it really is um, I don't think um, I think anyone's gonna walk in here that's the first thing I noticed when I walked in big and also how clean it was everything is kept extremely well very very nice and fresh so walking in you've got your two seater over here three seater over here um, looking over towards the TV over here, looks like about a 40 inch Samsung. Um, yeah, it's not new, um, but you know, hey, it works. Um, and you know, people are generally gonna change things anyway. Um, but it's all here. Um, this is being sold, I believe, completely fully furnished. Um, you've got the AC, big AC unit here, um, as you can see. I mean, you do need the bigger AC unit to be fair in this particular property because it is a bigger property, you know. Um, so yeah, that looks like a nice big unit. As always with Latori Golf Resort, it's fully central, full gas central heating throughout. So there's your radiator over there and you've got another one over there in the corner over there. So full gas central heating throughout as usual. We'll look at the rooms as we go in terms of AC and stuff. Like I said, you know, you've got a nice big unit in the lounge here and we'll check it out as we go. I've just noticed on the wall to the left as well, you've got one of the AC timers. So that suggests that this has been rented in the past because these are great when you actually put the AC on. You can basically put it on for a quarter of an hour, half an hour, an hour or two hours. And after that time, it will automatically come off. Um, all of the AC units will just cut off. And then if people are actually inside the apartment, they just press the button again and it gives them another two hours and so on and so forth. It's just a good way of making sure people, if you're renting this out, don't turn all the ACs on and just walk out of the house, leaving it on all day, which obviously costs the owner a lot of money. So... Big lounge, really good style. Now I love this next bit, the kitchen. So I'm just gonna walk into the kitchen. Now, there's no flashing in real time, but I can see that there was flashing on the, the camera. So I'm gonna turn the light off. Some of these lights do, do flash. So I'll just turn that off in case. So fridge freezer, literally directly in front as you walk in. Um, you've got your oven, ceramic hob hood just here. Now these are all the originals, but in perfect condition. Um, I can see straight away changes have been made here. So as you're walking down, obviously you've got your sink over here, dishwasher over here. Now this would have been quite a small utility. Well, not small, but standard. So it would have been about a third of what is actually here. What you've got here is almost another kitchen again. I mean, I think, I count the tiles. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half. One, two, three, four. I mean, it is, it is almost, this is about 90% of the size of the kitchen. Um, so you've got the main kitchen here. Okay, and then they've actually used to have a small utility, but I'm pretty sure I know what they've done. Um, the utility would have originally came to about here, okay, around here. Um, and then this part here would have been part of the terrace here. Now this, with this particular unit, this has got dual terraces. It's got one at the front, one at the back. Very rare, but it's only this one row of apartments that has that. Um, and what you would have had is the utility ending here, and this would have been part of the terrace out there. But because it's just a little kind of a corner bit of the terrace, um, which I've got to say is, is pretty, you know, dysfunctional. It doesn't really, doesn't do anything. So what these guys have done, I think is brilliant. And they've actually just 
extended the kitchen out right to the ends and obviously put a window in there. So that's brilliant. That just gives you a much bigger kitchen and it really doesn't affect the terrace space outside at all because all you'd have had is just a little bit of the corner. So I think that's brilliant. It really works. Boiler just over here. Don't forget, it's all gas combi boilers in the sorry. Um, and then they've obviously they've added all of these additional cupboards. And you've also got a, a dryer down here. Yeah, you've got a washing machine here and a dryer down here. Brilliant, I really like it. Really, really nice big kitchen and utility. For anyone with like families, big families and stuff, that's brilliant. Right, coming out the kitchen. Now obviously that's the terrace, one of the terraces out there. In fact, this has got two terraces. So let's just do the terrace now. Usually I leave it to the ends, but let's do it now. So again, um, changes immediately I can see. Um, so first thing they've done um, is as you can see, these are the interior tiles and they've actually extended through here. This would have been the exterior tiles originally. So they've obviously just matched this. They've matched the tiles. So it basically just flows all the way through. Really nice. So this feels like part of the lounge. Now this is a massive lounge already. Um, so with this added on, it just feels a really nice big apartment. You've got a, a little dining table with four chairs over here, another little kind of lounge set here. And you've got the glass curtains, okay? So you've got the glass curtains here as well. So you can see they're opened up at the moment. If I do that, you'll be able to see better. So all of them are just individual panes of glass that fold around and slide up. So all of this closes in. It's brilliant for winter, um, especially with this size. I mean, look at the size of it. And this would have been bigger because of course, this would have also had a little bit of it just going off the, the side here, which they've actually used as part of the kitchen. I think this works brilliantly. Um, it really does. First time I've seen it done and it really works nicely. So nice, big, big terrace. They've actually basically flowed the lounge into here in terms of, of changing all of the, the floor tiles. Um, this floor would have been raised as well because that would have been higher originally than that. You've got the glass curtains over here um, and of course, and you've got the exterior units over here. So that's exterior units to the AC just behind here. So again, they've just had a nice little cabinet built, hides it all the way, brilliant. Really good. Right, really liking this so far. Let's head towards the, the hallway. So like I said, this is one of the extremely few apartments on Latori that has a, two terraces. It has one that size, and it also has one off the bedrooms on the other side. Okay, so this one, I didn't mention it, this looks off over the sports area. Okay, so literally directly in front of you, you've got kind of football, tennis, and you've got a kid's play playground over there. And then literally immediately to our right, as you can see, is the football academy. Now, the football academy is not actually directly linked with Latori. It's, it's based literally on Latori's border. Uh, and of course, all the football teams that, that use that stay at the hotel and resort, but it's not actually for use for people on Latori. But again, that's just literally to your right as you look out the window. So I'm sure you better grab a, a few highlights of games there when they're there. And we have some big teams there, a lot of English teams, uh, a lot of uh, Euro EU teams. Um, come right, so back to where we were. So back up to the hallway. So again, first thing you notice, again, only on these units, you have an additional big wardrobe here. Again, that's brilliant if you ever go down the rental route because you can put a lock on this um, and then you can use that as an owner's cupboard because each, each bedroom has their own wardrobes as well. So again, that's a, that's a brilliant, brilliant kind of addition there. And then going up, first on our right is the bathroom, as you can see. Looks very different to what it would have done originally. So all of this has been ripped out. Obviously that would have been a bath there usually. Um, so all of that's been done. You can see all the walls and everything have been done around it as well. The floor tiles are original and the actual, these wall tiles originally, but, that, but the actual color they've went, it all works really well. I mean, that really not, goes nicely. It's just freshened it up and modernized it completely. Very nice. Very nice. Don't forget you've got the virtual 360 tour as well. So that just you that basically with that you can just jump from room to room, go up, down, all the way around. You can have a really good look at what you're looking at. But this bathroom is lovely, really, really good. So out the bathroom, heading up the wall, up the hallway, I should say. And then you've got your two bedrooms to the to the back of well, to the back of the apartment. I don't know what's back and what's front here because obviously they're almost you've got terraces on both sides. That way looks over the sports area. This way actually looks into the communal gardens and pool area. So I'm not too sure which, which you know which you could say is front and which one is back. Okay, we're in this room here, so let's have a look. So set up as a double, and it's a standard double bed, it's not a storage or anything, it's a standard double bed, very nice uh headboard there 
You've got your inbuilt wardrobe over here and you've got, as you can see up there, another AC unit, okay? So we know that the lounge and this bedroom both has AC in it. You've also got a ceiling fan in here and you've got your TV over here set up as well. So all very good. Again, nice, fresh, nice and clean. These doors lead out straight onto the, the balcony, which we'll get to in a minute. Coming out of this bedroom, taking a left, brings us into the other bedroom, bedroom two. Now this would, this is always, Generally, this is always the slightly smaller of the two. I mean, there's nothing in it. You're talking about kind of a half a tile or something in it. Um, but this is all, this one is always slightly bigger. But this one is set up as two singles. It's two standard singles. Again, very nice, very fresh. Inbuilt wardrobe over here. And again, AC unit up here. So you've got full AC here, guys. Very nice. I really like this apartment, I've got to say. It's so big. The bathroom has all been done. The actual, what they've done in the kitchen, by extending the kitchen, uh, what they've done with the terrace on that side as well. It's really nice. I really like it. I mean, that's just like the, the terrace on the other side is like an extension of your lounge, right? This is literally just an extension of your lounge because it just flows completely. All the floor tiles are exactly the same. You've got your glass curtains there. So in winter, you're in there, you can be in there as much as out here. So it does make a big difference to the property. Right, we haven't been to the balcony. Let's go to the balcony. So you can get to this balcony, obviously, from both bedrooms. So obviously not as big as the other one, because the other one is huge. But still a decent space. Still a decent space out here. You're looking here straight into the communal gardens and pool area. So the other balcony is directly south facing and this is pretty much directly north facing. So you can get in the sun as much as you like and out of it as much as you like, which trust me is nice as well. It's uh, nice to get out of it sometimes. And of course you've got your, your two large pools over here. You've also got like a toddler pool over here as well. And there's like a jacuzzi area between the two pools over there as well. And then these guys have just got a, another table and chairs here. Um, obviously just to wash your nine out here. And then that's obviously into the other bedroom. So both bedrooms come out into the same terrace. Location on resort, like I said, this is the square, whereas Abadeco on this side, where we are now, and this is Arenki on this side, and you've got the square in the middle. So literally, just through these, through, you know, these, these big squares have like big archways that lead out of the squares. So if you went out of the square here, so from this apartment, basically, leading out of here, you're around a two minute walk from the supermarket, two to three minutes from the town centre. You are literally next to the town centre. So brilliant for people that want to be, you know, near the supermarket, near the bars and restaurants. And, you know, the, the resort is really pretty phenomenal now. You know, you've got a great choice of bars and restaurants. The blue collar restaurant is my particular favorite. It's fantastic. The Italian restaurant has always been great. You've got the Indian restaurant there as well. You know, it's, it really has got a nice choice. And of course, O'Leary's, which is brilliant for, you know, your kind of burgers, your ribs. It's like doing breakfast and all that now as well with the sports. It's, you know, it's a really nice mixture of, of, of bars and restaurants on here now. And more businesses are coming. Um, you know, I'm sure if anyone has seen um, our Facebook post um, a little while ago, our company has bought um, eight of the commercial units that were available on Atari. Um, and there is more businesses about to open um, and more will be coming. So the resort is very, very much getting busier and busier and, you know, getting more and more facilities, which is great. Right, guys, 109,995, 110,000 for this size apartment, I think is fantastic. I mean, I really do. Not only is it the, the style that is bigger already, but I love what they've done out there. I really do. I love what they've done in the kitchen, where it's just like a massive kitchen, one of the biggest lengths, certainly the longest, one of the longest I've ever seen. Um, you know, and it is clean. It is really clean and tidy you know you really don't have to do now yeah of course you're going to change things you're going to change couches you're going to change furniture because that's what people do but you really don't have to do any of that lovely apartment guys um, any questions you know where to get us um, you can email me directly at inquiries at polarisworld.org.uk if you're calling from the uk 0208 that takes you straight through to our office here on Atari. you don't get charged for a spanish call you're only getting charged as if you were calling a, a london number um, and also, if you are in Spain, 968-032-042. I can't find any fault guy with it, guys with this. I really can't. 
Um, it's a lovely, lovely apartment. Um, the stuff that's been done has been done really well. You know, sometimes you do see things that are done to apartments. You think, mm, I'm not sure I would have done it that way. Um, but this has been done brilliantly, you know, from the, the terrace there, kind of extended it into the lounge, the glass curtains, the extended kitchen. I love it. Really, really nice. Cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed.